Hey what is up guys this is Branch Dwai here and you've been watching Programming Nation and this new video we are going to talk about the format specifiers used in C programming languages. So in C programming languages, uh, in C programming tutorials we have learned uh, till now how to print statements in C but what about if you want to uh, write some different codes. So in that we will be using the format specifier and learn about it so without wasting our time let's go deep into it. What are format specifiers? So, format in what uh, this uh, format specifier defines the type of data which you're gonna uh, print on your output screen. So, in this, uh, uh, what does that mean? So normally, we are uh, these two statements give will give you the same output. Okay, these two are the different inputs which I have given. But input, or we can say these two are the different codes, uh, different li lines. Uh, with the, some different codes, but I uh, have the output would be same build and run See the output is same now. What's the difference in these two? Codes so over here. I have added percentage D in place of 14 That is the a that is my age and that age I have printed out uh, that I have uh, typed outside the double quotation followed first uh, Always remember that whenever you're using percentage D means any uh, format specifier it will be having a uh, what we say it will be having this uh, percentage sign with the specific symbol used for it and that will be placed in place of whatever you are gonna print like 14 you want to print it will be it will be placed over here in place of 14 and the out number which you wanna put or whatever a print uh, output you wanna print that would be outside this com the outside this double quotation first comma and then that now you'll be thinking what is the use of this the use of this would be uh, there to specify uh, there in taking the output from the user because it will help us to understand that what type of output we are expecting if uh, like I there are different type of specifiers like percentage uh, we'll talk about it at the end of the video first is the percentage D as you can see percentage D is there and the percentage D is helping us to okay so percentage D is present over here and we can help uh, we can print 14 is printed in place of percentage d but what if i want to print 14.22 okay 14.22 i want to print print this no no i want it let's see what can this do build it let's see who will stop me okay compiler has over here it, it shows that uh, uh what 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 it shows that uh, yeah, it shows that format as percentage D is expecting any integer value. Percentage D is for integer value, so it is saying me why the hell are you printing? Why the hell are you wanting us to print this 14.22? That is a decimal value, not a percentage value. So for that, it is blaming me. So for that, we are gonna print on a new statement. Okay, copying it. Damn it. Yeah, copy, paste now okay let's just do nothing now let's just uh, compile it warning has been given i have printed so two warnings are there let's show now it means it is showing me something different what i have expected uh what we have expected is that this should be printed but what this is showing me is something else something weird now how to so now to solve the this weird problem and to find the desired output which i want let me just delete it over here we'll be using percentage f we'll be changing it changing it percentage f is that now percentage f means printing any value that is related to uh, this what we say that is related to that is related to yeah is related to uh, decimal th decimal decimal numericals uh, indeed there are different types of numerical values that we are represent in uh, what we say integers normally integers that is D stands for integer value and F stands for this decimal values let's fill it let's see will it stop me no it doesn't and let's run it and I can see that what I have got I have got 12 14.22 
and zero zero zero. That doesn't make uh, that doesn't make a difference. Now there are different types of uh, this. Let me just. What are the main important for the beginners? I'll just show you. Uh, for beginners, just you should know till four uh, four things about it. Mm, one would be this x. Okay, x. So x means hexagonal value. Uh, like uh, you know, there are different types of number. There are different types of num numerical values in computers. One is binary, decimal, then 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 hexadecimal. You know hexadecimal, which consists of numbers, uh, which consists of numbers from uh, one to I don't remember, but yeah, it consists of the numbers. It consists all the des uh, alphabetical numbers and also. Uh, also, 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 also. I don't remember well, but few of the numerical values. So, if I want 14, then let's just do this. Run it over here. 14 has been given. This e, you can see e. E is the value, hexadecimal value of 14. So e, so with the help of this, what we said, the help of this x. Uh, x uh, that is percentage x format specify we can just change a type typical type of numerical value into hexadecimal number and the last one which you should remember for now is the s uh, sorry c that is the string uh, sorry character yeah now what if i want to print a single character dude i want to print a i want to print b i want to print c just that only but it won't allow me to do so that is because the formats specify has just told the code to just uh, just allow the integer value in this case just allow uh, what we say just allow uh, decimal values in this way just allow uh, hexadecimal to be the output just and over here it will allow just the character now for always remember that in character you have to uh, write we have to write just one single letter from a to z that could be capital that could be case sensitive that's your wish so i'll be, 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 be my name starts from p my channel starts from p let me just b yes so over here as you can see hmm, uh it has now let's see will it allow, will it allow me bam my code is done Woo! my code has been uh, my program has just executed well on time and i'm happy for that dude i'm happy for that so with this you can okay not uh, getting over excited yeah so this you can see that how it works how the things in c prime uh, what are they say they, uh, this data specifiers in c program language yeah one more thing what if i want to print this in one line will i able to you can just let me uh, what you have to do is that uh, these things you can just uh, mm -hmm. For doing so what you have to you have to if you want to enter any other integer value you have to add another data specifier uh, percentage D then another uh, let it be percentage F and another data specifier let it be percentage okay I'm sorry percentage 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 F only let leave it okay so so we have entered okay let's just leave for two only let's not make it complicated now what you have you want uh, you should do okay you should do two that so that you can print both you can print both integer value and you want you can print this fractional value so now yes this time i want to print 14 and also 14.22 so for that for you want you should remember that there are two different types of data specifier in a single line so you should take care that the order should remain same if you want to put two uh, two different data specifier two data specifiers in a single line you have to differentiate the outside this uh, double quotation that is one comma then the first one then another comma and then this 14.22 i want to print it let's see what happens and bam it's done dude it's done i'm able to print it okay let me just differentiate it like this so that you can see it well build and run yes i did it i did it pretty well 
so i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and do subscribe my channel so that you can you'll be notified when our new video goes live thanks for watching this is Prashant Bhai here and, and uh, see you next time bye bye